2025 has been a big year for Blender. We just got 4.4 and it's working great. Now I had to upgrade my add-ons, so let's check out IES. I did some special upgrades and made it compatible. First of all, anybody who's already picked up the add-on, thank you very much. Uh, Sam and I really appreciate it and we support this add-on a lot. Actually got a request to do this upgrade uh, from a person who picked it up and they said, hey, you know, it'd be great if the add-on could do this. Boom. So we did that and within about two or three hours we upgraded it. May or may not be that fast every time, but we do watch our add-on discord we watch blender market we watch everything youtube channel i've got a guy that that watches the youtube channel for me he makes sure if something pops up and i miss it that we get it to handled now you'll start off by going into cycles you'll need to select a manufacturer doesn't matter what you can put the 3d cursor wherever you want and then click add ies light let's press g and y because i'm kind of on that access and you can now have an IES light in your scene. And these are manufacturer specified lights uh, per the name. And then you can go through the types and the website. It's, there's a lot to it, but the sim the simplest, in simplest terms, you can just come in here once you've got a light selected and on, and you can upgrade it with the little light icon. So you're either adding a new light with this button or you're changing it with this button. So I can change this back and forth with the light type. I can select these individual lights as they are. You don't select anything right here. These are just images. And then you can mess around with the global illumination. This comes in, I think, at like 15, which is awfully bright, but like 0.5 is pretty good too. Uh, then right down here, you have the black, black body intensities. You can change this. And if you don't know what any of that is, don't worry. All you got to do is click this little button right here. You hold your mouse over it. It'll say toggle charts and you can toggle this on. So now we go, oh, 1500 is going to look like this, kind of like a match flame. So we could either put in 1500 or we can scroll back through this and, and get, uh, see how far down this goes. Yeah, it does go down to 1500. So you get it here. Everything that's in this list is going to be right here. You'll be able to scroll through and change how that light looks. And I think that's actually pretty useful. Now, let's go ahead and make this just a little bit brighter. I think 7,500 is nice. It's like a clear sky. It's right around here. And I will blur the edges. And I'm holding shift so we can actually blur these edges so they're not so sharp. And that is the basic overall functionality of the add-on right there. That's just how you add lights and how you manipulate them. It's extremely simple. Now for the upgrades for the 4.4 uh, release here, what we've done is any folder that you list right here is going to be listed. The button is going to grab the name. And the reason for that is it's going to open that exact folder for you. Now when it does that, you'll see how many IES images versus the IES files that are here. So each one of these, excuse me, each one of these images has a hash as the name and it has an IES uh, file that has the exact same hash. You can see .IES and this one's the actual JPEG. That's what is displayed here. This is what gets loaded into the node behind the scenes, which is down here in the little node group. Uh, very, very basic setup, but it, it just downloads this. It sets the nodes up for you. You don't have to do all that. And it automatically switches in the background. Now, this folder has been opened. So what you can do now is you can easily just dump stuff into it, right? What do I mean by that? Well, if you've got your API key and you've, you're going to the website, then you can do mass downloads. You can dump it in here this way. So it's a convenience factor upgrade. And... The next cool thing is you can now open up the manufacturer folders right here. And before you couldn't do this, but now you can come in and just add a folder that will be automatically listed in here. You see, I've already got AAA, but let's go ahead and delete that. I'm just going to right click here, new folder. Uh, let's call this 2025 lights. Iguzini and that looks good. Now I'll go ahead and click on this folder and 
Actually, let's not even do it that way. Let's do it the other way because this could work both. It doesn't matter how. Now I'm just going to save this file and then reopen it. Now go ahead and select what I had opened. And when I open this back up now, I no longer have the AA here. I have the 2025 Lights Iguzini because it's reloaded. Okay, so the cool thing is here, and I did through another Iguzini in, but the cool thing is that these will show up at the back so you'll have all your custom folders here because these are specifically being loaded from the website so these don't change all of these are what are available on the website and are tied into the edit preferences so when you do add things to the edit and preferences with your api key you'll be all good so now that i've got the iguzini loaded let me go ahead and click on it and then I can open the Iguzini folder. Now, of course, this folder is currently um, empty, but we're going to change that. I've done a mass download here. And let's see, we'll just hold shift down arrow. Boom, I've got all these. Now I'm going to go ahead and dump these in. And I can close this because that's over and done. Don't need that open. And now I'll go ahead and click refresh. On the Iguzini and boom look at that now I've got all of these extra lights in here and now this will work by page so you can kind of scroll through here and get all these different pages and I think this is going to be a very good and unique way to do things um, having custom folders then all of the manufacturers that are for the IES website which this add-on is tied to and for another convenience factor if you do not want this many items on your page just reduce it you can bring it down i think four like even numbers is pretty good and then you just end up with more pages so now you can scroll through these in this manner makes it super super simple if you get a page that has a blank something didn't load you know you're not at the end yet click refresh that file may just not be there uh, or it may not just be loaded properly but we have a refresh button here that will refresh that gallery for you now let's cover a couple of things here. If you have any questions on this next part, uh, I will put my Discord in the comments. You guys can come in and ask. So I don't want there to be any confusion. I want everybody to love this add-on and be so happy with it that you're compelled to go give it a five-star review. So what we do is you go to add-ons. Obviously, once it's installed, just type in IS. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down. You see our logo make better renders with real world lighting uh, get your api key if you don't already have it just click that button it's going to take you over here and you can log in and grab your api key now i'm already logged in and if i wanted to do a mass download i would just click here and i'm not worried about anybody seeing my email this is literally on my youtube page if you guys wanted to email me it's pretty old school i prefer you just drop me a comment i'll see it sooner so i can go here and click mass download I can choose the manufacturer and download. Okay, it's pretty, pretty simple. And then you're just going to unlock uh, those files and drop them in is like the, probably going to be the easiest way. From our new upgrade here with opening specific folders, you may not even need to do it this anyway, but if you come over here, you can go to install and click install mass zip. Go here, go your downloads, find your zip file. You know what I mean? Find it, load it in, and click this button. It should load automatically uh, and go in the right manufacturer. You can install it through at hash API. That one's more confusing, but it's still there. Um, I need to actually throw my API key. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> I need to throw my API key in there real quick. All right, I've got that copied. Let's enter that in, and then the add-on will begin to work. We'll just click refresh. Uh, right here and do i not have internet what's going on install api is not valid i'll just make a new one all right so i made a new api key let's give that another shot even mine are expiring okay no big deal they expire sometimes if you do a free account by the way don't freak out you can do a free account and get these you know one at a time not a big deal, but like the add-ons come with like 167 of them or something. So you go to install now, this will work. There's your single hash API that is found beneath the light on the website.
Uh, then you can do install manual files to any one of these places. If you've grabbed a few, uh, then you'll be able to click the same thing here and open up that individual file and load it in. Then this is like, this is, for some reason, this is just my favorite way to install. You can do install favorites. And when you do that, it's going to load that in for you into the manufacturers per the favorites you selected on the website. So if we come back over here to browse, uh, you can actually, once you're logged in, you can click this and add this to favorites. Now this light is added to favorites and you can do the upload there. And of course, if you're doing this manual, you wanna come here, right click, copy, save that image, and then you would download the IS file and throw those two files in manually, okay? And if you wanna install this via hash, Here's your hash code right there on every single light. And that is about it. It doesn't get a whole lot more complex than that. There are some camera controls here. So if you have a camera selected, this is gonna pop up. Each camera is gonna have some specific controls, the pass parte, different things. Uh, you'll have some presets. These are not gonna be hyper accurate, but it gives you a, a, a little jump start, if you will, for doing um, some camera work. Uh, it's not going to be, like I said, it's not the best thing in the world, but it is, you know, as far as a, an exhausted camera add-on, uh, but it will put the controls in front of you. And here is one cool thing I did add here. Let's see if I can get a better view. Control Alt Zero. Okay, so it doesn't really want to work with me. All right, there's my light intensity. And I have to wonder if I actually installed this. Let's take a look. All right, well, no big deal. Let's just do this. Now, when you've got this selected right here for depth of field, you can click focus camera. It's automatically gonna grab the Suzanne, which is the Suzanne that is closest to me. And then it's gonna do a depth of field um, selection for that. And it's gonna load the focus object for you. So that's just a little bonus thing to have the camera work in there. I think it's gonna be very useful. You've got a couple of other things here, like add a camera. You get the 3D cursor off somewhere. You can send it back to the world origin. Uh, right here, you can set the active object as the camera. And this little plus symbol will add a camera, the object to the scene. Uh, this one will grab the view of the camera. So you have some interesting little controls here that I think would be useful. This comes in minimized, like you saw so it won't be in the way. You guys wanna pick up this add-on, give it a five-star uh, rating. If you don't like it, let me know, I'll fix it. Sam and I will do things to make this add-on meet your standards, just like the, uh, the new features here, so you can now upload your own custom folders. I just wanna say a big thank you for everyone who has jumped onto the channel recently, all of my new subscribers, thank you guys. Anytime you guys buy an add-on, not only does the blender.org get a donation, but Blender Market gets a donation as well. And so everybody benefits and you guys get a great add-on that gets supported. Smash that subscribe and smash that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.